Okay, good morning. We're here at the RISC V Pavilion at Embedded World 2019 in the Andes booth with Tommy. Yes. Good morning, Tommy. How are you? Uh, hi, Rick. Uh, it's nice to have uh, a show with Foundation here. Oh, very good. It's, it's great to have you here. So I heard you just announced a new core called the N22, I believe. Can yes. you tell us about the features of that core? Oh, okay. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, we have a good uh, experience uh, in delivering CPU IPs to our customers and the uh, expertise uh, a good check record with uh, a good shipment uh, in uh, 3.5 billion. And uh, we heard many uh, requests from our customers and the market about the need a smaller RISC-V uh, RISC cores. And since we have our uh, original a series in 2018, and we then we respond to such a requirement and have our own uh, 22 series. Uh, as a smaller uh, CPU, we also provide uh, a rich configurability in this core, and it's uh, it's small, it, it's minimal uh, configuration. This can be uh, a uh, in a very small gig count, very good power consumption uh, area, and uh, also deliver good performance and uh, code density. And uh, as we know, uh, people uh, need such a controller uh, using, uh, be, be used in IoT uh, wearable, uh, deeply embedded uh, uh, applications uh, to uh, get a rich, uh, a rich uh, performance and uh, uh, help them to get a match a uh, uh, good power consumption. Good. Yes. So th this is, um, as you said, Andy's has yeah. been in the market with IP cores for processors for a long time, a lot of success, a lot of volume. Yeah. And this, this is part of a whole family of RISC-V cores. Yes. Uh, can you tell us about some of the other cores in the family? Uh, yes, uh, we have a, a lineup of uh, RISC-V cores. Uh, we try to make a complete solution to provide the customer more, uh, more choices from uh, RISC-V cores. So from uh, the smallest uh, N22 and then larger uh, five-stage pipeline uh, N25 and even uh, multi-process cores so, uh, and this designs from uh, uh, the and this extension instructions based on foundations uh, ex ex extension uh, uh, for for uh, in the ISR level, right. and uh, we so also do uh, a good microarchitecture design uh, and the CPU implementation. Then we provide the whole uh, tool chains uh, development. Um, environment, environments, uh, IC, uh, ICE debuggers, and also some uh, platforms for uh, customers' evaluation. At that level, um, as we already have uh, more, more than uh, 150 uh, licenses, we, we try to uh, provide more choices as, as I said, from microcontroller to microprocessor level, even in a multi-core support. So, uh, and this can help uh, our customers to use uh, industrial grades uh, in commercial quality, and also provide our professional technical service uh, to our yes to our customers. Very good. Yeah. Now, you you mentioned about development tools and debuggers yes. and so on. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the, the family of cores that Andes has had in the marketplace traditionally, the, your proprietary risk processor cores, compared to developing that, um, uh, those development, creating those development tools for an open ISA like RISC-V, yes. how, what was that like? Was that any easier? Was that a faster time to market for you for, to bring a new tool suite around uh, the new cores? Yes, uh, we provide uh, based on our original or IDE or tool chain design, so we can support both uh, different ISAs okay. in 
the same uh, IDE package. Same development environment. Yes, yeah. and uh, we also uh, collaborate with many uh, partners, so leverage our own, uh, the whole RISC-V Foundation's uh, ecosystem. Very good. Yes, to help people and also help these customers to uh, get a, layer, a good uh, benefit from uh, such uh, a product line and also the whole ecosystem. Great. Well, have a great oh. show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Rick. Bye -bye. Thank you.